Okay. Valiant, the wiki says that's ending three, I think. I'll give it another try.
much time. Uh. to risk your lives for this. We should be fine, but only if you do it quickly. Let me know once you're ready, and I'll open the blast doors. I'm ready. Good luck. into the reactor, not pull them out!
Ah, o nosso.
spell. Tunnels, clothes, calls, poisonous mushrooms, and goddamn teddy bears. Better kill it. Excellent work. If you ever want a job in a nuclear power plant, it's yours. There might be a manager position opening up. The facts. thing Mark, I know you can do it. I have to admit, that was a pretty good job you did back there. I guess we'll find out. Hey, Marek. I've been trying to reach you for a while. 
Listen, I know that things didn't exactly go down the way you wanted them to, but... How are you doing? I'm fine. That's good to hear. We were worried about you. You're probably busy, so I won't keep you for long. But if you ever wanted to get back in the saddle, so to speak, we might have something coming up. You don't have to say yes. I just wanted you to know that the option's there if you want it. I'll think about it. You do that. Take care, Mark. You too. There's anything else to eat. Where did I put the remote? It's probably passed out again. Two Gorges Dam collapsed last year following years of neglected maintenance. Construction work on rebuilding the dam was supposed to finish later this year. But following several delays, Stahlberg Construction Group's new estimates now put the completion over three years away. Repair work on the Bergman tunnels continue. These tunnels caused a shock in August when a collapse in one part of the tunnels set off a chain reaction that wreaked havoc all over Stahlberg. The beer manufacturer Osmo Olut has bought the Walter Tower skyscraper from the center of the city and plans to turn it into their new headquarters. The beer trade has been expanding in the last few years, and the company is doing better than ever. The aptly named Walter Tower used to be the headquarters of Walter Corporation, but fell into disuse after their CEO, Jeff Walter, went missing several years ago. That's all for tonight. I hope you all have a good evening, and we'll see you in the morning on the Stahlberg News Network. Well, that was fun. I like how a lot of this stuff pushes really close to reality without being too obsessive about the detail. I might give it another try at a later date. Like it's not the Stanley Parable. I can't find an ending in 4 minutes 22 seconds.
Oh, that's neat. See, I knew about some of this stuff. I worked with an engineering client. And they had the blueprints and stuff for a wastewater treatment facility that is yet to be built. And I've also seen the inside of a real hydro dam. So a lot of this stuff was really close to expectations. Okay, I guess we could talk a bit more. So I have quite a few jobs that involve computers. center type stuff most of. This game reminds me a lot of the engineering plays. Even the trains, the engineering place builds rail lines too. A neat coincidence. Mark not caused the tunnels to collapse, then it would have just kicked Dickon down the road.
They were coming down either way. This was one of the things I clip. And for some reason it's broken. There we go. So I clipped this one because it's something that usually causes me to not solve a puzzle right away. I heard the noise behind me.
So I turned her and ran right when the light changed on the door. And didn't see it. Hang on a sec. Volt keeps switching to full screen, and I lose the controls. Yep, I'm back. Okay, so this one took a while. This part seems timed. I actually got frustrated with it and looked at the Steam Guide. And it said bricks. It just made Tiny a bit tired. I thought it meant to throw the bricks at the valve. So you see me toss the bricks to the wrong place like twice. So this time, I got the bricks to the right place. But still thought it meant this door.
It wasn't until I saw the valve connect that I got it. I was like, okay, maybe it goes here. Nope. What else didn't I, Trey? Well, it does. So, among all the puzzles in the game, anytime something was timed, it was like, oh. Okay, now for some reason my caption software keeps wanting to flip out. I'll have to debug it a bit more. I'll do that later. See, the only part of the game that really spoke to me in a bad way was seeing the graffiti. Because I didn't expect it. The VODs will be on YouTube. When they are all uploaded, you can see them in sequence there. Oh, there. There's the moment I noticed where the valve goes.
And there, finally did it. Let's see, I think the thing that spooked me the most was before the steel mill. Nope, it had to be last week. At the first video, it has to be like the third one. I wonder what else. Nope, it has to be the one before this. Actually, I found this water treatment plant to be fun. I heated this a little rod.
Oh, hey, this part. Where things all start. So this is about where I thought the game was putting me on. Hello there. Like the other things up to this were avoidable. This was not. Yeah, up to this point I was like... These are fun engineering things. But then suddenly, death trap. You see, I do the same thing here the first time that I did in the tunnel with the natural gas later. Well, that was a trick. Where I turned around and didn't sit. Somewhere around he. Hi, Valiant Steve. Oh, that when you join the first time.
That's what happens when I get spook. Okay, there. What's that? That is what jump scared spooked me. So this monster actually exists in the game. Oh, so it's more like a hallucination. So when I upload these, to usually upload them in two, three hour segments because over four hours and YouTube kind of chokes on it. Well, I did mess with the coffee machine. I didn't do enough to trigger it.
I figured the photos played into it. Otherwise, you wouldn't need them. Sounds like, sounds like something you'd only pull off with a walkthrough. Pretend bread. Dynamite. Oh, my God. Stuff like this, I legit was like, oh, heck no. That was not what I expected. Okay, there. I know what I want to show. Wait, they put turtles in each one of them into a garden.
I found like three. Okay, so earlier in the game. I knew what I was supposed to do, but also didn't know what the controls did. It only made sense later in the nuclear plant. Okay, for those of you who aren't engineering nerds. that a power facility have to be in sync. That's how you get power to your home and not fry everything. Every generator, as far as I know on the grid, has to be in sync. So the reason I know about the synchronization was because it was explained to me in real life at some point. Yeah. And this is Europe, so 50 hertz. But I didn't know there was anything to do here. So I push the button. Spook. And dope. I didn't know you could actually fix it. When I started the game, I was like, okay, it's going to be mostly documenting broken stuff you aren't fixing. Like this. trash.
Yeah, like the next time I try it, I'll probably try to solve the puzzles faster, since I'll remember most of the solution. They do, in fact, look like this. Emma. So both the engineering office and the union office. familiar to me because I've been in both. All right. Okay, fix everything. Now, you grab your master keys from reception. Well, if you want to catch the replay, I'd suggest following the Twitter. Though it might not be for a while. I might try it around October since that's when people do all the spooky Let's stuff. Though this was definitely my first play without any foreknowledge of the game. Thank you for watching. Much a cool. It's always more fun to have people who have played the game gently suggest hints. Everyone's like this. Twitch to send emails when someone goes live. So you could filter the emails for information. This must be the lunchroom. Nah, it's okay, you didn't manage to spoil anything that I was actually aware of, except Morka. Anyway, I don't get salty about spoilers. Not usually, at least. At 
least it's not a silent protagonist. When I get frustrated, I just look up a walkthrough or walkthrough or left for what I'm stuck on, and then just read just enough of it. Because I know I'm streaming, and it sucks to watch a streamer spend two hours on the same puzzle. Oh yeah, poor Mark Elevator Hacks. I guess I have to take this for that. Yeah. How many elevators did he have to crawl through or fall through? More than enough for one lifetime. What's Mark Zuckerberg doing me? So the other time, I actually looked up a walkthrough hint. was in the mine after the elevator crashed to the bottom. So I opened the gate to nowhere. So what happened here? I was facing the wrong direction. this was just one of the ones where it was like, okay, do I spend another hour or do I just look it up?
I kinda saw that coming. So according to the video timeline, Definitely not getting paid for this. I spent around 25 minutes down here. And then it was like, I know what the solution is. I just don't know why it's not working. So at least four different times. I messed up a puzzle because I didn't face the right direction. What can or? In this one, it wasn't immediately obvious which way to face. You can see me do this thing where I trace the cable or the pipe to try and figure out where it goes. Just last night. And see how I miss getting onto the barrel. So is there are no crates to move? And no detonators for the dynamite? See, if this was real, I'd just take one of these crates. I was like, I have to be doing the right thing. And even the text walkthrough so suggested like? going through the hole in the ceiling. Head in this way.
cave in this way. So I actually found another YT video, and then we're facing a different direction. And I was like, oh, that was obvious. I should probably end the stream in an minute or say. Alrighty then. I'll see you again sometime then. All right, everyone. I'm going to end the stream now. Have a good morning.